Hey everybody, this is Alex of Lebowski Nation. Today I'm going to go over my first video on tool tutorials. I'm going to go over the hammer. As you guys know, I'm in the restoration business, so I work with floods, fires, you name it. Heavy demos, short demos, all kinds of stuff. Um, my knowledge on tools is wide and broad as I'm a specialist in this business, so I go and above and beyond to make sure the job is done right. So today we're going to go over our first tool, the hammer. Now there's different different types of hammers out there. There's the ball peen, the framing, stone master, uh, your regular claw. I mean, there's so many different types of hammers out there. Uh, framing hammers generally are a little bigger, but most hammers this day, even regular claw hammers, have bigger sizes now. Like this one's a 22 ounce. Uh, it's heavy duty, so it's really good for heavy demos and stuff like that. Um, it also has a a bumpy edge so you see the ridges on the head this is to get grip of the nail so it's good for catching the grip on the nail on impact that's what that is used for and that's why some are rigid and some are flat it's just for grip now some even have the little magnets to hold your nails on top um some even have a side thing so you can get nails from doing this they have a little side uh side claw thing and i've seen those in heart hammers those are one of my other favorite brands of hammers. Now, there's different types, like framing hammers are generally about the size of this one. But in this day and age, even regular claw hammers are a bigger size. Uh, they, they even have all kinds of sizes and even have the grips. But generally, framing hammers have a longer wooden handle that go all the way back here, a little bit wider for harder, lot better swing and a good impact. And they normally have the grip. So that grips the nail on impact. Now there's different hammers like ball peen hammers, which is uh, used for setting or driving cold chisels into things, setting rivets, bending and shaping metals. Um, you have your stone master, which has a flat kind of square looking head. If you guys ever want to look up pictures of these, I don't have a ball peen or a stone master on me, unfortunately today. So anyway, uh, so you have your stone master. It has a flat kind of square head on it and normally has like a short or long chisel shape to blade to cut brick or chisel brick or concrete. That's what the stone master is for. Um, now tool safety. If you're swinging, please be careful. Please be really careful when swinging the hammer because if you're not careful, you'll end up like me. Now, these are two spikes, and this happened on the same day. I had two spikes that went in right there and two spikes that went in right there. Those are some aftermaths of what could happen to you if you're not careful with a hammer. And I just kept working that day. I had the spikes go all the way in my leg, and I kept working. I just wrapped it up with a cloth, and I kept working. Uh, it was a big fire job we had to get done, and someone had to do it so i had to keep going with my partner so we kept going and got the job done anyway though so always wear your ppp uh, always wear your ppe when like safety glasses construction hat if you're on a construction site gloves whatever they want you to wear on site always wear protective gear when using a hammer and please be careful with swinging now I personally like the flatter spike head. It's personal preference, really. I just feel like I can get nails at that angle easier. So if there's a nail down, it's just the angle is just perfect for lifting and gripping nails from the spike. Um, you know, generally speaking, if you're going to swing a hammer, just always grip it kind of more lower so you get more of a, uh, a better swing for, for impact. Um, I really love my hammer. I prefer heavier hammers, and sometimes I prefer little hammers. It, it just really depends what you're working on and what you're doing. Um, so that is uh, my tutorial on the hammer. And I'm going to have many other videos and other tools. Like I said, I have so many. And then I'm going to get into the power tools later on. And then eventually, I'm going to get into how to do a flood. So that will be later in the future in my more advanced videos when it comes to tools and stuff like that. And then I'll get into demonstrations as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have an, uh, another blessed day. Stay safe. COVID's still out there. Social distance, yada, yada, all that jazz. Anyway, um, my next video will be on some more tools and things like that. So anyway, guys, I hope again, have a blessed day. Boski out.